What will four more years of a Joe Biden presidency do to the country? We've seen how radical this administration has been so far. If he does win again, what is the US going to look like? I don't even want to think about Joe Biden winning again. Um, he's done so much damage to this country. He's destroyed our economy. He's destroyed our borders. He's destroyed our international uh, influence around the world. Uh, we have become a joke because we have such a weak leader. Uh, that has to change. Uh, America sees that. Um, and in a year and a half, they're going to have some options. And Joe Biden, if he got reelected, <laughs> I mean, it would be over for the United States. It would be the end. It's almost the end right now, but I think we're still at a point where if we get the right person in there, and we have this thing in the United States called our Constitution, okay? We also have a Bill of Rights. Those are our laws in this state. If we follow those, if we get a president in there, we'll take the Constitution and follow it to the T, we can change this because the government has overreached, uh, Joe Biden has overreached um, for, honestly, we've been going down this path for the last 30, 40, 50 years, and it just gets worse and worse every year. I mean, if America is going to make it, I'm a patriot. I love this country, you know, and I want to see my children and my grandchildren uh, to have a bright future. I know you're close to the Trump family. Do you think Donald Trump could prevail in 2024? Is that realistic? And will the charges against him stop him? First of all, um, you know, we talked about Biden and how bad he's doing. Um, the Democrats have nobody that can win. The Republican side is filled with a lot of really good people. We have a primary going on in the United States. Uh, obviously, Trump, uh, yes, I am friends with the family. I was down at Mar-a-Lago last week. Um, I really respect what Donald Trump did uh, in his four years as president, uh, but we still have to get through the primary. He is the front runner. Uh, but as a Republican, a conservative Republican, I will support whoever winds up being our nominee. Uh, from my standpoint, I hope that's Donald Trump. Uh, I would like to see him. Uh, what we need right now in the White House uh, is we need kind of like an alpha male <laughs> that can get in there, knows what he's doing, and Donald Trump knows what he's doing. He's already been there. He knows how to fix things and has a great track record. So if that's the case, if Donald Trump is, is the nominee, uh, I would support him, yes, but I, I'll support any of the Republicans. Uh, we got to get the Democrats out of there. Now, one of the few in the media who has held the Biden administration to account has been Tucker Carlson. He has just parted ways with Fox News. I know you've been a regular on his program. What do you think is next for Tucker Carlson and is a political future a possibility? You know what? Uh, yes, I'm a Fox News contributor. I've been working for him for the last couple of years. Uh, I do a lot of issues on California, obviously on trans issues, things like that, because they have become such uh, uh, big topics here in the U.S. And it's been uh, a great association for me. And it's a great voice out there, especially with like all the trans things that I've, I've worked on as far as Leah Thomas. Um, Fox News goes all over the world. And I think we're really with Fox News, able to really make some progress and uh, change some things. But um, like anything, you know, businesses change. Uh, you know, Tucker, I wish him well. Uh, to be honest with you, it just happened in the last 48 hours. And uh, I'm learning more and more. As of right now, I don't know what the next step is going to be. But um, and I, I thought he was great on Fox News. And we'll see where he goes from here.